I'm running a little late. Sorry, guys. Um, let's see. Try and get a good position for you guys to see today. My hair is a mess. Oh, my goodness. Oh, maybe that works. Okay. Hmm. We'll work it out. Okay. So, tonight is, um, I'm doing Pamper Chef. And I'm making Fruit Lumpia. Um, I made these actually last night on a live and people were like, what is Lumpia? So I had, have not done a little bit of research at all, but I have seen that is a Philippine dish, which I think is really cool. So anyway, so I'm going to, um, show a few things tonight and I'm super excited about it. So I hope you guys are super excited about it as well. All right. So excuse the mess. I have dinner stuff still laying out. I'm going to move these. I'll make sure the biscuits don't eat my dogs, please. Okay, so I'm gonna make, um, I'm gonna use a snack bar maker first before I show you anything else because I have to have let these set before you taste them. So the first thing I'm gonna use is a snack bar maker. Hmm, you must fry. Nope, it'll just sound real weird. So this is our snack bar maker. They are, I think, $26. And um, they come with the spatula just for them. This plastic thing right here is a lid. So it comes apart. Okay, so now that I did that, I'm gonna do this all backwards. Hi, my name is MJ. <laughs> or you can call me Margaret. And I sell Pamper Jeff. There you go. Today has been super hectic can't get my mind straight. So anyway, so this thing is silicone and it is my favorite color, which is actually funny because we're actually painting our kitchen. So this is the color's a little bit brighter than my kitchen, but isn't that cool? All right. So, um, I'm going to do is I'm going to melt the marshmallows in this silicone measuring bowl. So I'm just going to add a little bit of um, butter to it. Go to bed. I'm going to add a little bit of butter. Wow, it's really melted. Alright. I don't think I need this anymore, so I'm going to put this away so we can get cold. And set. Put that in the microwave for a few minutes. Well, actually, for 30 seconds. There you go. For 30 seconds. And I'm going to get my marshmallows out, courtesy of my mom. Marshmallows in here. These are just the big marshmallows. This is what my mom had on hand. She was trying to make sure I didn't go to the store and spend extra money that I didn't need. And she doesn't ever use them anyway. <laughs> and they always end up at my house. How many how many people have their parents, in-laws, just drop stuff at your house? Both in-laws and parents. <laughs> Um, I'm going to do 30 seconds, um, and every 30 seconds I'm going to take it out and I'm going to mix it up a little bit, and then I'm going to put it back in there for 30 seconds. Alright, let's see. I'm going to get some extra added stuff to it. marshmallows to mine. Or not marshmallows, I'm going to add chocolate chips to mine. Alright, I'm going to mix it up real quick. Oops, make sure butter covers all of this. Ah! Alright, I'm going to put it back in for 30 seconds. Alright. So, while we're doing that, I'm going to do this. Um, I need a mat. Hold on one second, guys. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so these are um, these are some awesome mats that we have. These are cutting boards, and they're flimsy, but they are worth every penny. Um, but they have all kinds of like instructions on to, on them. Really, really neat. And shows you the size. And this one shows knives that we have. I think it's really cool. So I'm just going to do the prep it up one. Oh my goodness. Actually never used the um, silicone bowls. Hi Heather. I've actually never used the silicone bowls for this, so I figured I might as well do it on a live for the first time to see how it works. It's the best thing about this. Ah, you learn new things as you go. So maybe you need to like, and then, ah! All right. So I'm gonna add a little bit of um, vanilla to it. It's already going down. Ah. All right, I'm gonna do another 15 seconds. And we're going to start cutting up our fruit for our lumpia. And I'm not going to cut very many um, of anything because I'm not making a lot. Hmm. I think maybe I should just stuck to the... I think I should have just stuck to the... Putting it in the pan. <laughs> Let's try a little bit more butter. And I don't know where my lids to these were. These all come with lids. They come with silicone lids, which I think is really cool. Um, so let's try this again. All right, so I'm gonna start cutting. So okay, so I'm making two, three different things tonight. I'm making fruit lumpia. I'm making, um, and I'm making snack bars. And I'm also making whipped cream to go on top of it all. Um, so there's three different things. So there's several different products that I want to show you guys. The snack bar maker is our newest product that just came out, I think, two months ago, I want to say. I want to say the end of May. All right, it's getting there, you guys. It's getting there. Ah. All right, let me get a bowl real quick. Okay, and these already been washed. You want to make sure these are diced. Let me cut this one strawberry up and then I'll get this out of the microwave. Alright. There's one strawberry down. Let me get this out. almost there to the consistency that we need it for Rice Krispies. Alrighties. 
Alright, there's two of them. Fingers crossed, guys. Oop. Perfect. Okay, let's add some Rice Krispies to this and see how it goes. Ah! And this is Tupperware because, in a way, Tupperware and Pepper Chef go together. Every event that I've been to, I get set up next to the Tupperware lady. I think it's hilarious and so does she. But we both have things from Pampered Chef and Tupperware, which is really cool. Alright. Are you fun, fun, fun eating it, Daisy? My dog is eating the stuff that I drop. the consistency we want for Rice Krispies. Yay! And you could always add whatever you want to this. Um, extras, whatever. Alright, so let's get our snack bar. I'm going to put these aside for the Olympia. Alright, and here's our snack bar maker. I'm just going to take some, and I'm going to place them in here. My phone is going wild, you guys. I hope you guys don't hear all the noise it's making. Alright. And you only need a spoonful. I'm just grabbing some with my fingers, because I'm a mess, and that's just how I am. But, let's try this. Perfect. That's actually perfect. I don't know why I didn't use spoon earlier. There you go. There you go. Let's see. Alright, so I was going to make a couple of them. And see how they come out. I've never mm -hmm. made Rice Krispie treats in these before. I've only made... Um, granola bars and I actually just used I've only used this once since I've had it and I've had it for about two three weeks now um, so yeah we shall see how this goes this is an experiment you guys every live that I ever have done has been experiments people think I'm nuts like why don't you practice before and I'm like because it's no fun that way Oops. everyone gets to learn with me I was at, I think that's how you pronounce it. Did I pronounce it right? <laughs> I'm always pronouncing names wrong. It's horrible. I try really hard. Alright. So I have enough for a couple more of these. I'm just going to fill this whole thing up. And I got it everywhere. Hot. Mm. That was so good though. Alright. So I have that one. That one, and there you go, all done. Okay, so I'm going to smush these down with my spoon into the mold. I know you guys can't see me, so hold on, give me one second, and I'm gonna move the camera. My new phone's camera is like crazy. Ha, there you go. I have it wedged between my counter, my, my cabinet, and my coffee pot. So let's hope that works. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna spread these throughout the um, mold. All right, and this is the time where you want to add extra if you really want to. Ah. All right, and so I'm going to add um, go? chocolate chips for a couple of them. I 
love chocolate chips in my Rice Krispies. And these are actually keto friendly, to me anyway, I think so. Um, they're low in sugar um, carbs. They have about nine carbs, so maybe not fully, fully keto. I think I grabbed the wrong bag. Usually I have lilies in this salad. But these are gluten free, these are sugar free. They are dairy, nut, and soy free. I actually buy these a lot because I have friends that have allergies. So these are my favorite. And they're mini, so like how do you not, like how do you resist minis? Okay. Take some of this and move it into here. Ah. Alright, and we're going to let these set. I'm going to put the lid back on it and we're going to let them set. And then I'm going to make the Olympia. Because who can resist? Some really good dessert roll ups. Alright, and so this is the lid that goes with it. into place it's super easy and I love this and it smushes them to the um, to the board that way you can um, make sure they're flat and great to eat so we're gonna sit this over here stay okay all right so now we're gonna finish up the lumpia and for that I'm just gonna cut up some fruit I'm gonna cut up some pineapple um, some strawberries and some blueberries mm. that was some really good rice cookies Okay, so, so far I've cut up two strawberries. I'm going to cut one more up. Alright, there it is. These can go back in the container. Okay, I'm going to do blueberries tonight. You can do whatever fruit you would like. Last night I did peaches and strawberries, um, and it was really delicious. You could feel the peaches coming out a lot of it. Kind of tasted like strawberry peach cobbler. Um, but it's really all up to you what you like and want to add. There's a couple, do a couple of blueberries. Almost done, you guys. I'm going to cut these in half. This is a really odd looking one. I love finding blueberries that are like just weird. Or even like strawberries or even like eggs. Like even eggs come out really like weird now. Some will be really tiny and slender, and but you can tell which ones are like really from a farm or from like fresh from a farm, um, free range, or you can tell which ones are from you know like a plant full of nothing but chickens who lay eggs. All right, so I think it's a good amount ratio. Okay, me another paper towel. So I'm gonna get a. Let's see where it go. Oh, there's. I'm gonna use this bowl that I use for the Rice Krispies, and I'm gonna put my extras in there. So I did my blueberries and my strawberries. I'm gonna put these away so they don't go bad. Out of the bathroom. Okay. Well, hurry up and get out and go to bed. Machine or the, the dryer. I don't remember. Put it in. I need to wash my hands. No, you. No, wash my hands. Dry. Oh, okay. 
Well, no, not right now. Stop. And I'm going to do an egg wash. My basting brush got put away last night. So. Oh, one second, guys. basting brush but it's okay we're gonna teach this anyway and you can use your fingers for this all right oh I wanted to do pineapple all right so we're gonna get our lymphia wrappers And um, I went to Walmart yesterday and I found egg roll wrappers because I don't know the difference between lymphia or egg roll wrappers. So I just got egg roll wrappers. All right, I'm going to grab a few of these out of the packet. And these are called Frida's egg roll wrappers. They look like that at Walmart and they're in the um, cold section next to the, where the fruits and veggies are. I had to ask two people to find them yesterday. I had no idea because I had never bought them before. Tell daddy. Okay. Thank you. Alright, so I'm just gonna do strawberries and blueberries tonight. Alright. Alright, so I'm just gonna take a spoonful. Where'd my spoon go? Alex. 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 Go to bed, Alex. All right, so I'm just gonna take some fruit and I'm gonna stick it into the wrapper. Sorry, kids are supposed to be sleeping at this point. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna take another bowl. And I'm gonna do the egg white in it. And it's not, not a, you know, just, just a regular plastic bowl my mom got for my um, daughter's birthday party. And we just, we had some leftover, so we reuse, I reuse them. And they're cute. Make my kids feel like princesses sometimes, so we keep them. All right, I'm just going to toss it up. Toss it back and forth just to get the egg white, to do the egg wash. There you go. We dump this in the trash can. Oh, get a good bit, please. All right. So after we get the fruit into the wrapper, I'm going to fold this up like this. Fold up around and around. I'm going to fold from this side in and from this side in. I'm going to just keep rolling up. All right, so when you get to this part right here, you want to add some egg wash to it, um, which is just egg white, and you want to make sure that way it can stick. There you go. And there's one. And do a couple of like this. And you want to make sure their their diagonal um, face, like diamond, facing down. And we're gonna do this again. I used to work at Taco Bell, and I was telling them on live last night. It's funny because when I worked at Taco Bell, I did all this all the time. But when I stopped working there, I was I forgot everything. It was so crazy. Alright, there's two. Hey Will, can you go get them please? Alright. So it's 
super simple once you get the hang of it. And this one's smaller than the rest, that's okay. It's all up to you how much you want to put into it that will fit. wrappers back into the bag. I wonder what they taste like plain. Let me try one plain. Let's see how they taste. Mm, not so great. I think I'll learn my lesson for next time. Tastes funny. But they are egg roll wrappers, so. What? Daddy. Fiona keeps going over there, that's why. I'm gonna put these aside. I'm gonna put these right here. Nora, shush, baby. Side, as you can see to help it keep non-stick and it actually does work it makes huge skeptic of all things um, great quality okay. um, before I started pampered chef um, my husband was military he and I had gone through so many pots and pan sets I think we had gone through three since um, See, we were married for, I want to say six years before I started. Nope, seven years. Yeah, we were married for seven years. There you go. We were married for seven years before um, I started Pampered Chef. And before we moved in this house, I'm sorry. And when I started using Pampered Chef, we were able to... Um, keep good quality in the house um, but we had gone through three full sets of pots and pans and it was ridiculous um, so when I got my pampered chef pan in the mail I was super excited but I'm a very big skeptic on cooks because I've gone through so many different things so often um, and I've actually haven't gone through pots and go Fiona and um so it was kind of nice to have a good quality pan. It's funny because I've kept customer service on speed dial in case this pan doesn't stick. I want to make sure they know. <laughs> and um, hi Andrea. So it's funny that um, I actually like this because I don't usually like a lot of things. So we shall see how this goes because I've never made, I've never, um, I don't like frying things, but last night I made Lincia and for my live show last night for my group, and I baked them. They didn't come out. They came out really good. Don't get me wrong. They came out really good. But um, they could have come out a lot better. So I fried some later on last night. And they came out so delicious. I was so really impressed. 
Okay. So, um, so last night I mixed cinnamon and sugar. So while we're waiting for the pan to heat up the oil, um, I made cinnamon and sugar together. So we're going to stick this in a bowl. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit more sugar to it. And actually, this is sugar free. I use this. Um, I don't like using sugar. I am not a sugar fan. I try not to use sugar as much as I can. If I don't have to, I don't. And so I'm not going to with this. These are not exactly keto, which is what I've been doing lately. Um, but that's okay. All right, let me get me some more sugar. I'm gonna have more cinnamon, sorry. Cinnamon. Let's see, more cinnamon. Oh, y'all are back, yay! All right, I'm just gonna cut up a couple more. I wanna add some um, chocolate chips to one of them. I came up with the idea as soon as they cut out and I was like, dang, let me try that. So I'm just cutting this up real quick and I'm gonna get some more out and I'm gonna make chocolate chip strawberry blueberry strawberry blueberry chocolate okay let's see there's one So I'm just making one, and I'm making one with chocolate chips, strawberries, and blueberries in it. I like playing with the egg yolk. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Alright. You have to make sure your hands are super clean and super dry when you do this, too. I'm just going to wipe an egg wash on top. You don't have to, but I'm going to because I want to get rid of the egg, and I think it gives it a good browning flavor, browning color and flavor, sorry. Okay, I'm going to clean my hands real quick. Alright, so let me get my tongs out. I gotta clean these, but these are Pampered Chef tongs. They are um, pressure, are, they are gravity pulling, so, and they don't open. There you go. I'm gonna clean these real quick. They were used tonight for our dinner at Pork Chop. Ah. All right, let me dry these off real quick. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I cannot wait to even try these and eat these. I made a whole bunch of them last night, so I hope they come out good. All right, so I'm gonna place these carefully into the oil. And we're going to take this cinnamon and sugar mixture. I'm just going to dump it on a plate. Not all of it. I'm going to use some of it for dipping. I did that last night and it was so delicious. All right. They're in the, they're done. They're brown. I'm going to stick them on a paper towel real quick. Turn this off. And I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna flip them, flip them again. Make sure the grease is off. All right, and I'm going to cut, turn them into the cinnamon and sugar. Let's see. Let's get a fancy plate to put them on. Fancy plate, put them on.
four. We're gonna do one more and then we're done. And that's what they look like with cinnamon sugar on top. Isn't that pretty? That is so awesome. Okay. So for the dipping, we're going to make a um, very homemade whipped cream. So this is our whipped cream maker. This is actually my favorite thing, and I use it all the time. So this turns into the lid. So this can come off, turn into the lid. And it's all silicone. All right, this is our whipped cream maker. So there's a line here. Mine's scratched from use from major use, but um, there's the line right there. We're gonna. That's where you usually want to fill it with heavy whipping cream, but tonight we're just gonna use a little bit because I have only five. Okay. And I'm gonna stick heavy whipping cream until I want. And I'm just gonna do it halfway to the or three quarters of the way to the line. Right. I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla, pure vanilla extract, not a lot. All right. And I also have um, boxes. They also have a box at Walmart of Truvia. So I only take one packet or two. Otherwise, it'll get a little bit too sweet. But I want the vanilla flavoring in there. So this is perfect. So I'm going to stick one packet in here, and I keep in mind I've already put vanilla in here. Alright, I'm going to put the silicone bottom back on so it stays in place on the counter. This is going to go in here to the bottom, and this is going to lock into place. So it's going to stay right there and I'm going to pump. And you can start hearing the difference and seeing the difference. And yes, it does come out right here at the top. I'm going to show you guys that. It does come right out right there, but that's really how you tell when, you're, when it's ready to pull out the whipped cream. It's getting a little bit harder too. And this is definitely a great arm workout. Give it to the kids, sit them on the floor with it, pump it. Perfect. You can make butter in this thing as well. I have not yet done it yet, but I will. Perfect. Alright. So let's open this and see what it looks like. Take the bottom off. I'm going to use it as a lid. Super hard to get out. And since we're at it, I think what I'm going to do is something different that I haven't done in a while. Where's that spoon at? There you go. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to place it in the bag. Just like that. Whoa, look at that. That is some awesome homemade whipped cream. Ah, probably making a mess, but that's okay. It's not cooking unless you have a mess. Or baking unless you have a mess. <laughs> My mom used to say it to me all the time. She still does. All right, and we're gonna take this out of the bag. I think I don't think I I don't think I thought this through very very much <laughs> before I set it on this. All right, and let me get the scissors. I'm gonna cut this. Oh wait, actually, I have a knife right here. I'm 
I'm going to cut the corner off the bag. Yum. I love whipped cream. I love homemade now. I refuse to even buy store bought. So, there's our whipped cream maker. And we're just going to pipe this in the corner here. And we're gonna get a nice big fat strawberry. I found that it's really weird looking and we're gonna put it on top. And there goes your nice sweet dessert with your homemade whipped cream and fruit lumpia. All right, let's see what this looks like on the inside. So let's see, I'm gonna open up the chocolate chip one so you guys can see. And there you go. Strawberry, blueberry, chocolate. Lumpia. And let's see, let's dip it in some nice whipped cream. Mmm. Wow. Just like a dessert, awesome chef restaurant kind of dessert. Mmm. Yep. Wow, that is amazing. Wow. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you guys have a great night. Mm. Cinnamon sugar cut my throat. I hope you have a great night, and I hope you have a great Friday and a good afternoon. Good, excuse me, a good weekend. See you later. Bye.